Make sure your contractor has the proper permits and licensing before he starts a home improvement project. It will save you a lot of time and trouble. A Maple Heights woman contacted News Channel 5 after she says the fencing company she hired got her into trouble with the city building inspectors. Five on your side, troubleshooter Joe Paganakis joins us now. And Joe, the building permit is pretty critical. There's no question about that, Lee. You know, in some cases, consumers can save big money if they pull their permits themselves instead of having a contractor do an attack on some extra dollars. But if you're going to do that, make sure you follow through correctly or it could cost you. I contacted the inspector and he uh, gave me a letter. He said that uh, your permit has to be poor. Brenda Moore of Maple Heights admitted that she agreed to obtain the building permit for this brand new backyard fence installed by Jacques Madlock and his company Home General Development. But problems came a knocking when the Maple Heights Building Department informed Mrs. Moore the fence had been installed inside out. According to Maple Heights Building Code, the installation hardware and posts should be facing Mrs. Moore's yard and not her neighbor's property. We did everything you requested. A mistake Jacques Madlock says was caused by Mrs. Moore when she ordered him to install the fence the wrong way. All okay. I want is the work. Resolve. That's all I want. Okay, well, and you, you said that, that if resolve, you want to put quarter permit, it's 300. Do. John, excuse me, because that's right. where the problem comes in. You talk and you don't listen. That, this is why I'm saying I, I'm I talk. To you, I told you. That's that. why you got the you fence the way you want it. Because I listen to you. Don't but disrespect right me. Don't disrespect me because on. we've I'm already helped you. Let's stop. Hold on. 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 More than an hour, but in the end, both sides managed to come up with a compromise and stay out of court. Jacques Madlock agreed to bring Mrs. Moore's fence up to code at a deep discount, and Mrs. Moore agreed to leaving building permits to the professionals. If you decide to pull your own building permit for a project, make sure your contractor is registered to do business in your city and understands the building code. Contractors should ask to see a customer's building permit, and it should be posted at the job site before work gets started. On your side, I'm troubleshooter Joe Paganakis.